Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to change your Windows IP address to a static IP address using the GUI and also the command line. So by default here we have a Windows 7 VM that has DHCP enabled which means that it's getting an IP address from our router so we want to change that. So the couple ways you could do it uh, well first let's see what our IP address is so we know that it's working here. So we're going to open a command prompt, type in IP config you can see we have 192.168.0.7, our default class C subnet mask, and 0 0.1 for our default gateway. Okay, And so the first way through the GUI is if you find your network connection down here, just click on it, open Network and Sharing Center, and then click on Change Adapter Settings, and then find your local area connection. It might be called something a little different, but either way, right click on that properties and if you want IPv4 unless you're watching this in the future when you're using IPv6 but you're probably using IPv4 double click that and then we want to check this box that says use the following IP address and we'll do 192.168.0.8 and then we'll keep the default subnet mask that it had before that it assigns and we'll keep the default gateway too and we'll click OK and then OK now we'll go back to our command prompt and run ipconfig again. And you can see it changed it to dot eight there. So we know that's working. Okay, so now we're going to go back here and put that back to DHCP. Okay, obtain the IP address automatically. Click OK. And OK. And then we'll see if it took effect yet. We might have to renew it here. Yep, so it already took effect, so now it's back to dot seven. So now we're going to do it via the command line. So we'll minimize that. And we have a little cheat sheet on our desktop here. So let's clear the screen. And the first command we want to run is netsh to get us in that mode there. OK. So now we have this. So we're going to change the IP address of our local area connection. That has to be in quotes because there's spaces. And if yours is called something different, you make sure you have it written exactly like that. And so we want a static IP address. We want the 192.168.0.8 because we want to write 7 now. So we want to go to 8. We want the same subnet mask and the same default gateway. So let's see if we could copy and paste this guy into here. And see what happens. Okay, so no errors here. Let's exit out of this and do an IP config again. And now we're at dot eight with the settings we set. Simple as that. So two ways to do it: the easy way with the GUI, and then well, the command line's easy too, as long as you know the command or at least you you know have it written down. You could copy and paste it. So that's how you change your IP address to a static IP address in Windows for command line and also for using the GUI, right? Thanks for watching.